Well, hello everyone. I'm uh, WGCY's Ross Brown here in a very desolate part of Ford County here Thursday, April 28th, 2016. We're on Bandon Bridge out here in Ford County, right on the county line. And you can see it's a pretty desolate area around here. Um, many of you have heard the story of the dog named Bear, the Labrador mix that was found uh, near Sibley, and this is the area it was found in. Uh, the dog uh, is at the U of I vet clinic right now being treated, uh, has a broken jaw, uh, severely injured. If you can see from the road where I'm at right now, I'm probably about, I would say a little south of about half a mile. There's an abandoned farmstead up there and it's just gravel roads. East-West Road is made out of gravel. And the uh, road south here, this uh, county line road, uh, is closed through traffic because the bridge over the Mackinac, uh, just south of this small culvert, has been taken out. Um, there's an access road to a farm field there. We can see my truck's parked. And, um, you know, this is a very quiet area. There's not much out here and yeah, no traffic. I can see one car on the road there right now, but as far as I can tell, this is a pretty desolate area and there's not much out here um, for people to find. Uh, the dog, uh, which is being treated right now, um, it was found around this area. I think it was down uh, below the uh, roadway here. You can see someone's left a blanket there. I'm not sure what if that have it had a blanket over it or not, I'm not quite sure, but um, anyway, this dog sat in this ditch for, they believe, might have been two days or more. So somebody, whether it was the dog's owner or not, I'm not sure who did it. Um, they don't know at this point, but drove down here, left the dog down here. Um, in the cold, probably in weather like this, just dreary conditions all day and all night for two days. And then uh, once it was found by an owner, uh, it had mange, it had an eye infection, um, and it had been shot in the neck multiple times. And it's kind of surreal to come out here to look at uh, this. I've been out here in this area before. Um, it's, you know, it's a nice quiet spot if you just want to get away. Um, and, you know, honestly, if you're, uh, want to think about killing something or somebody, this would be the great place to hide the body. Um, because no one would notice that out here. And I just thank, uh, for the man that found him, Mr. Gillespie, um, because without him, that dog probably would have laid there and probably within a day or so. Uh, would have died so it's a it's a sad story and I hope that at some point they can figure out who did it uh, I know the Ford County uh, Police's uh, Sheriff's Office is uh, uh, keeping an eye out for any possible leads on what might have happened I know they're investigating it but um, anyway we can all pray for the dogs recovery and uh, had a lot of donations and um, pray that everything comes along safely and goes well for the dog um, in its future. So uh, for WGCY Radio, I'm Ross Brown. Hope you enjoyed it.